Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover intriguing stories from history. Today, we delve into the remarkable tale of José Antonio Aponte, an African slave who played a pivotal role in Cuba's most ambitious slave rebellion in 1812. Join us as we explore the captivating events surrounding Aponte's rebellion and his courageous fight for freedom and equality. Get ready to be transported to a time of resistance and struggle that shaped the history of Cuba. Before we embark on this historical journey, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we release new episodes that shed light on extraordinary stories from the past. Together, let's uncover the hidden chapters of history and ensure that these inspiring narratives are remembered and shared. Aponte was born into a family of free people of color in Havana, Cuba, in the 1760s. His father, Nicolas Aponte, was a carpenter, and his mother, Maria Antonia Aponte, was a domestic worker. Aponte received a good education, and he was fluent in both Spanish and Yoruba. Aponte worked as a carpenter and became a skilled craftsman. He was also a member of the Cabildo de San Jose, a religious and social organization for free people of color in Havana. The Cabildo de San Jose was a center of resistance to slavery, and it played an important role in the development of Cuban abolitionism. In the early 1800s, Aponte became increasingly concerned about the plight of slaves in Cuba. He was inspired by the Haitian Revolution, which had led to the abolition of slavery in Haiti in 1804. Aponte began to organize a rebellion against the Spanish colonial government in 1811. Aponte recruited slaves, free blacks, and mulattoes to his cause. He planned to attack the city of Havana and overthrow the Spanish government. The rebels were armed with machetes, knives, and guns. José Antonio Aponte was a Cuban freedman of Yoruba descent who organized one of the largest and most important slave rebellions in Cuba, the Aponte Conspiracy of 1812. He was a skilled carpenter and a respected member of the Havana community. Aponte was also a well-read and educated man, and he was deeply influenced by the ideals of the French Revolution and the Haitian Revolution. Aponte believed that slavery was unjust and that all people deserved to be free. He began to organize a rebellion against the Spanish colonial government in 1811. He recruited slaves, free blacks, and mulattoes to his cause, and he planned to attack the city of Havana and overthrow the Spanish government. The Aponte Conspiracy was the largest and most ambitious slave rebellion in Cuban history. It was also one of the most brutal, as the Spanish authorities executed thousands of slaves and freed people of color in the aftermath of the rebellion. Aponte was well-educated for a slave of his time, and he used his skills as a carpenter to gain some degree of freedom and social mobility. He was also a self-taught scholar and artist, creating a book known as the Book of Paintings, or Libro de Pinturas. This book was a compilation of drawings and writings that reflected Aponte's ideas about race, equality, and freedom. In 1812, Aponte became a central figure in a major slave rebellion in Havana. The uprising, known as the Aponte Rebellion, was one of the largest and most ambitious slave revolts in Cuban history. Aponte and his followers sought to overthrow the Spanish colonial government and establish a free society where people of all races could live as equals. The rebellion was eventually suppressed by Spanish authorities. Aponte was captured, and in the aftermath of the revolt, he and several of his followers were executed. Aponte's Book of Paintings was discovered by authorities, and it played a role in shaping the narrative of the rebellion. The book contained a mix of religious and revolutionary imagery, reflecting Aponte's complex views on race, identity, and liberation. The Aponte Rebellion is significant in Cuban history as an early example of resistance against slavery and colonial oppression. Aponte's legacy has been remembered as a symbol of resistance and the fight for freedom, and his story is often cited in discussions about the intersection of race, identity, and rebellion in the Caribbean during the era of slavery. Aponte's rebellion was discovered by the Spanish authorities in 1812, and he was arrested along with many of his followers. Aponte was tortured and tried for treason. He was found guilty and sentenced to death. Aponte was executed on April 9, 1812. He was hanged in the Plaza de Armas in Havana. His body was then decapitated and his head was displayed on a public pike as a warning to others. Aponte's execution did not deter the fight for freedom in Cuba. His rebellion inspired future generations of Cubans to fight for abolition. The Aponte Conspiracy is considered to be one of the most important events in Cuban history. In Cuba, Aponte is considered a hero. 
He is remembered as a brave leader who fought for freedom. There are many streets, plazas, and schools named after him in Cuba. There is also a statue of Aponte in the Plaza de Armas in Havana. As we conclude our exploration of José Antonio Aponte's remarkable story and the ambitious slave rebellion he masterminded in 1812, we are reminded of the immense courage and determination of those who fought for freedom in the face of oppression. Aponte's legacy serves as a powerful testament to the resilience and strength of enslaved Africans and their descendants. Through his book of paintings and his leadership, Aponte inspired others to challenge the dehumanizing institution of slavery. If you found this video enlightening and thought-provoking, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be inspired by Aponte's story. Remember to subscribe to our channel to join our community of history enthusiasts and receive more captivating content that unearths hidden stories from the past. Together, let's honor the legacy of individuals like Jose Antonio Aponte and continue to explore the rich tapestry of history. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of our fascinating historical series.